What's going on, adventurers? Hey, everybody. So currently, we are standing in front of this place right here, which is what we told you about in a previous video. This is the furnace where Sam was thrown into by Lay Master. You know, I don't know that he did it himself. We're still not sure about that. The story is not conclusive. So Jen and I found out we were actually at a church where Lay Master's more permanent looking grave is. And then we found out from a um, passerby that actually this is his one of, one of his original cracked slabs. <laughs> so he's been moved about, but anyway, the, this is at the Historical Society in the city of Westminster. And so we were just informed that this is where they kept the more original slab. If you can see, it's a lot older. That one over there is like a shiny, I don't know if it's marble or granite, it's like really polished. But the story is that the actual um, person, they master, kept cracking his tomb and they had to keep replacing it. Just like a restless spirit type issue. Um, so. Before that, at his original plantation, which is only a few miles from here, where he was originally buried, his bones kept surfacing. So then the owner of that had to keep reburying him. So they decided down the road years later to move him. So the theory is, or the story is, I'm sorry, that they decided to move Lay to sacred grounds where hopefully he would find rest. So um, we did a live also at the other <laughs> um, cemetery where his, what we were speaking of his more modern finished area is plot. So uh, it's very interesting. He's like all over the place here. <laughs> so we're just trying to, you know, research the history. We did some spirit box uh, necrophonic uh, on the live and um, so you guys check that out. We got some really good, really good responses from it sounded like him and some others um, that were involved with him. So check it out. So, Lay, we just want to see if you're here um, at this original grave marker. You want to tell us anything? We hear that you ride a horse. We hear that you would like to ride a horse through town. Is that true? Listen. I heard listen. Can you make horse? Can you make the sound of the horse? I said yes. Can we hear you ride your horse? Could you do that? You want to show us your horse? I'm going to just pan over here a second. I I caught something out of the corner of my eye right there on those steps and could have been my imagination and it could have been something actually there so I don't know but maybe we'll pick it up on the camera are you on the steps leg are you standing on the steps move move are you here with us do you ride to your plantation? Ride. It said ride. ride. Do you ride to your plantation every day? That was a horse galloping. That was, that a, was horse. a horse galloping. Can we hear your horse gallop again? That was awesome. Thank you. Can you make your horse gallop? I want to hear you riding. Did you also have a dog? We heard something about a dog. No, he, he oh. becomes a dog. Oh, you become a dog. Okay. It said out. Out. Like get out. Oh. Do you want to see it? No. Move. Move. Does it say run? Yeah. 
hurry up. It's not like hurry up. <laughs> Bye. I said bye. Do you want us to leave? Is Sam here? Yeah. Did Sam? Did Sam? Okay, I'll let you talk. Did Sam work for you as a slave? Was Sam from Africa? Good question. Yeah. That's a good question. Was Sam from the islands? It sounded like she was trying to say Indies. Was Sam from the West Indies? Was Sam a good guy? Thank you. Yep. We'll talk to you later. We're going to do a spirit box session here in a couple minutes and see if maybe Sam will come and talk to us. Um, we got the Necrophonic app and I'm going to go ahead and just actually face you toward the furnace just in case anything pops out and Sam wants to make an appearance. I'm this up so you guys know what's up. I don't care. Sam, are you here? Hello. Sam, Sam tell us what happened to you. Were you burned to death? Who killed you? Was it Laymaster? Yeah, it sounded like died. We just we just visited his grave and he says he didn't kill you. We just visited his grave and he said he didn't kill you. Is he telling the truth? It's not like he said he killed. Throne. I heard throne. Did he have someone else do it? Yes. So I guess that's true. He didn't do it, but he had somebody do it. So technically, he's guilty. <laughs> Is there any way you can make an appearance so we can see you? Can you show yourself to us? It sounded like horses. It did sound like horses. Was that Matt? Mr. Master's horse? Yeah. Whoa. Can you show your horse? Is he nearby? Are you afraid of him? You seem like you're afraid. Yes. Yes. Don't be afraid. He can't hurt you anymore. We're here to help you. We're here to help you. So, um... I'm Lisa and this is Jen. We're just trying to communicate with uh, Sam or his um, family. It was his family and leg masters. And we hear you are often at this iron furnace. For you. Thank <laughs> you.
Oh, yes. train. I hear a train. You hear the train? Hey. Hey. Here, were you here during the American Revolution? Another car. Oh, it's busy here. Ooh, I'm going a little closer to the camera. Were you here during the American Revolution? <laughs> Did you make guns? No. What did you make? Ammo? Oh, ammo. That's what it sounded like. Did you make ammo? That sounded really distant. Mm -hmm. That was distant. Yeah. His leg here? His leg's horse here? Hi. 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 We know your um we know your land and plantation were near, were nearby. Lay, I said his name. Lay, are you here with your horse? I want you to tell Sam he doesn't have to be afraid of you anymore. Tell tell him so you can seek your forgiveness. Tell him you're sorry for what you did. Sorry. Okay. Say Jen. Kind of like, kind of like Jen. You say hi to Jen. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Who is that? I think I heard him say it now. Lay? Mm -hmm. Lay? I keep hearing that. Lay. Lay, I want you to tell Sam he doesn't have to be afraid of you anymore and you're sorry for what you did. Was that a sorry? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Tell him he doesn't have to be afraid anymore. I want Sam to talk to us. And he's afraid of you. He's not going to talk to us. Yeah, I know. I always sound like that. Yeah, I know. Okay. How many of you are there? How many spirits are there? Six. Six. Wow, I heard that. Six. Can you say, can some of you say your Gary. name? Yeah. Did you say Gary and Mike? What? Is that Gary and Mike? Who else? Hey, Gary and Mike. Gary. Hey, Gary. Um, happy birthday in heaven. 
Thank you. Thank you. That's Patty's Gary. Ow. Say hi to say, say hi to Patty. Say hi to your mom. Yep. Oh, seriously, I'm getting a chill. I feel it too. He say Patty. He said Patty. What the heck? I gotta tell her this. Fun for you. That's what I heard. He probably likes that we take her to do fun things. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of fun with Patty. Your mom's pretty awesome, Gary. Do you like when we ha did you like when we took her to Disney World? Can you see Sam? I feel like he's here, but he's like hiding because he doesn't want Leigh to see him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come forward, Sam. Did he say I'm coming? Sam, are you coming? Sam, did you want to come say hi? You're free now. You're free from all the worldly things that kept you um, unhappy. Sorry you had to be a slave and I'm sorry you had to be killed, but now you're free. We just want to let you know you're not stuck. Have you seen the light? Sam, have you seen the light? Yes. Walk into the light. You can be free from here. You don't have to stay here. This is just your earthly time when you were here. Did you want to ask us anything? We just want you to be at peace. I am. Anyway. Is there anything else that you want to say to us? I got a something. You got a what? <laughs> Alright, so what did you want to say to us? Three. <laughs> Afraid and hiding. Is that you, Sam? Or are you afraid and hiding? Did he say it's me? Don't be afraid. Angels, Gabriel, Michael, all of them will help you and protect you. Just, you need to pray to them and pray to God. I don't know if you knew. A lot of slaves probably didn't know about Christianity either. They weren't educated. You didn't do anything wrong. You were just protecting the woman you love. That's okay. And that's very honorable. Nobody deserves to be murdered. I'm sorry, did somebody just say I loved her too? Was that Lay? Did was that you, Lay? Did you love her? Well then why did you kill her? Evidence. Like they were looking for her. She She what? Maybe she was gonna tell. Because. Mm -hmm. They said they came up missing <coughs> shortly after Sam. Yeah. She probably threatened him. Yeah. Yep. That's so sad. Yes. They said yes. Mm -hmm. You were threatened. So you didn't feel like you had any alternative. Yeah. But man, like they were still alive. Right. 
You know, you were, you were you'd hear him screaming in the walls. Yes. Wow, this is an intense spirit box session. I did. I did. He did hear them screaming in the walls. Did it make you go insane? But it's a deep breath. I can't wait to hear this back. All right, guys, so we had a really intense spirit box session here at the furnace where Sam was killed. Not necessarily at the hands of Laymaster, but he was ultimately responsible because he had him ordered to be killed. Um, so it's very tragic, and I feel like he's still afraid of Lay because he said he was. So um, we're going to keep coming back here until he learns that he doesn't have to be afraid anymore because I feel like it's something we need to do. He needs to be set free. Um, it's a terrible terrible afterlife um that he has to even still be upset about that that was the 1700s guys i mean that's a long time ago to be living in fear and, and be upset i mean can you imagine no and with that being said we'll see you on our next raptor, raptor adventure, adventure.